I'm Miss Evans and I'm Head of PE here at the Girls' School. Hi, I'm Miss Merch and I also teach PE here at the Girls' School. So we teach here but we also teach as part of the consortium, so teaching Girls' School, Boys' School and the Priory. The beauty of the consortium is that you as students get to go to all three sites for your lessons, you'll get teachers from all three schools teaching your lessons and you'll have students from all three schools in your lessons and we think this makes it really uh, fun, enjoyable and varied for you. Another benefit of the consortium is that we have a large team of staff across the schools. This means that we each have our own strengths and can therefore teach our specialist area of the course. So for example, I teach the anatomy and physiology side of the course, Miss Merck teaches socioculture and you're going to hear from Mr Jesley in a moment, he teaches sports psychology and skill acquisition. Having completed A-level, there are a number of things which you can go on to study at degree level. Many of our students will enter the healthcare industry and go on to study physiotherapy, uh, sports nutrition, sports psychology, and be a sports scientist. Then some students in the past have gone on to work in the media industry as a sports reporter or a sports journalist. And then there's other opportunities where you may go on to be a teacher, a coach, um, or even go on to study medicine. Brilliant. Or a professional athlete like Miss Merch did back in the day. Um, so, yeah, we hope that's slightly helpful. Um, we're going to now have, hand over to Mr Jesney. Thanks for listening. Hello, my name is Nathan Jesney and I'm one of the A-level PE teachers at the Priory School. I'm going to talk to you about the three components that make up the A-level PE theory, uh, which makes 70% of your overall grade. Firstly, you'll look at the physiological factors affecting performance. Here you'll study different aspects of human anatomy and physiology, developing in-depth knowledge of the body systems, such as the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system, the muscular system, and the neuromuscular system. You'll then use this knowledge to relate it to sport and exercise. You'll also study biomechanics, where you'll look at how the body moves and why it moves in this way, and how we can use this knowledge to improve sports performance of athletes. Next, you'll study psychological factors affecting performance. Here, you'll study skill acquisition, where you'll examine the mental processes used to learn and develop different skills. And you'll also study sports psychology, where you'll look into the study of the human mind and how this will affect behaviour. We then use this knowledge to examine how we gain optimal performance from athletes. Lastly, you'll study social cultural issues in sport. Here, you'll develop knowledge of how sport has evolved over the years and you'll develop an understanding of how sport fits into our society. You'll also examine different cultural issues which come into play when discussing sport. I hope that's been useful in summarising the three key components of A-Level PE. Um, thank you very much for listening and we hope to see many of you next year in our classrooms. Morning, uh, welcome to Teacher Boys. My name is Mr Cornell, I'm Head of PE here uh, at the Boys School. Obviously we teach part of the course uh, as part of the consortium at the school. Uh, Mr Bajak teaches the practical element and he's just going to talk you through a little bit of that. Morning, I look after the non-assessment part of the course, often referred to as the practical assessment. This includes one practical activity of your choice from an approved list um, and an evaluation and analysis of performance which involves watching a live performance or a video um, of your preferred sport and formulating a 20 minute oral talk incorporating all areas of the theory that you've covered which include physiological, psychological and social cultural. This equates to 30% of your overall grade. We do make time for practical lessons with the odd trip and the annual visit to the bowling alley. Brilliant. Um, sorry we can't see you in person. If you've got any more questions, feel free to get in contact and we'll, we'll do our best to answer. Speak to you soon. My name's Finley and um, I find the social cultural part of the course really interesting because it shows me how sports developed over time. And I hope to go to university to study dentistry and I hope to continue playing football whilst I'm there. Hi, I'm Rihanna. Um, I'm hoping to study physiotherapy and carry on playing netball at a high level at uni. And I enjoy the sports psychology side of the spec as it um, as we study different theories that explain why we behave the way we do in sport. Hi, I'm Lottie, and in this, it's very sciencey, which is beneficial to link to other science subjects. I would like to be become a paramedic and continue playing rugby at. I'm Jack, I really enjoy the practical aspect of PE, which is why I want to carry on playing football at university and also study physiotherapy.